graph, which we spent a whole chapter on, a whole chapter we spent talking about quadratics. Right? Because the shape of the quadratic we call the parabola. It was very similar to the V-shaped graph, and it also resembled a letter, which we called U. So if you're going to use a table, now you're squaring the variables. Over 1, 1 squared is 1. 2 squared is? So it's not absolute value. It doesn't look like a V. It looks like now a U. Then the next thing we talked about is the transformations. How is the graph shifted left, right, compressed, reflected, so forth? Well, that was based on the transformation formula. Do you guys notice something that's kind of similar to something over there? The A, H, and the K represent the exact same thing. They're exactly the same. Okay? So we look at this and we say, all right, um, what is happening to my graph here? Well, first of all, and again, to, gra to graph the transformations, we got to use a focus point. And again, just like we use the vertex for absolute value, we're going to want to use the vertex here, which is that turning point. right? So we again here, so this is minus 1. H, is, H in this case is now positive, because it's x minus H. H in this case is 1. So now we're going to be shifting to the right. Or you can just always think it's always the opposite. Okay? So if it's x minus 1, that's actually shifting it to the right. And then I'm shifting it up 2. Now, in this case, you guys can see that A is negative, right? So instead of the graph opening up, it's now being reflected down. Yes? Yes, thank you. So now the graph we know opens down. It's being reflected over the x-axis. Okay. Now what does this 3 do? Now typically, we always went over 1, up 1, over 2, up 4. Well, now we need to multiply that by 3. And we're going down. So instead of going over 1, down 1, we're going to go over 1, down 1 times 3. So it's over 1, down 3. 1, 2, 3. Oh, I'm sorry. You need to go from here. Over 1, down 3. 1, 2, 3. You always go from your vertex, not the origin. Then to go over 2, down 4, but now you need to multiply that by 3. So 3 times 4 is? 12. So you go over 2, down 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then remember this had an axis of symmetry, just like that one did over there. You can reflect those points over the axis of symmetry. Do you guys see how this graph has been compressed? Right. So when A is larger, it compresses it. When a is smaller than 1, it stretches it. And the negative makes it go down. Good? Explanation? Remember? Kind of? Mas e menos? Capiche? Corlinte? Cha 